Have you seen a car crash? Among all the chaos and noise, there's usually a large crowd of random people gathered there trying to help, right? That's basically what inflammation is. When your body calls all its defense mechanisms like a crowd to help sort out a biological problem, like we learned in the previous video. Most people think inflammation is when you prick your finger with a splinter and see the area turn red, but the body is a bit more complicated than that. There's also an internal kind of inflammation tied to your diet, exercise routine, and sleep habits. You can't see this inflammation with your eyes, but you can definitely feel the side effects. Most commonly, insulin resistance and metaflammation. So what is insulin resistance? How does it impact your well-being? Let's get into it. Insulin resistance is a disorder that occurs when you have poor metabolism. It's as if your cells and the insulin hormone are cousins that just don't get along. Basically, your cells resist interacting with insulin and can't use up the glucose in your blood. This tricks your beta cells into thinking, hey, maybe we just need to make more insulin to keep the party going. Now, the problem is that your pancreas can't handle so much insulin. And instead of the cousin cell, cousin insulin, beta cells and pancreas having a quick family meeting, pancreas just kinda ignores the problem. Hashtag go to therapy pancreas. This messy situation is called hyperglycemia, which means your blood sugar is high. If you're overweight, you could be experiencing a state of chronic inflammation called metaflammation. Essentially, your body may release proteins called pro-inflammatory cytokines, which make it hard to absorb insulin. Remember cousin cell and cousin insulin's drama? The body sees that happening again and decides to release more immune cells, which increases inflammation. Because of a spat between the two cousins, all sorts of random distant relatives like proteins, lipids, and oxygen molecules get involved in the drama too. And your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and stroke increases. It's important to track your glucose and get checked out by a doctor. But if you're looking for ways to get your metabolic health on track ASAP, keep watching. Anti-inflammatory foods like blueberries, apples, nuts, fish, and leafy greens are a great place to start. They're full of natural antioxidants that can tackle inflammation. A cup of coffee a day can also possibly keep the doctor away. Coffee contains polyphenols, which protect against inflammation. Red meat and foods rich in trans fats like margarine and corn oil should be kept eaten in moderation. The more disciplined you are, the easier it'll be for cousin cell and cousin insulin to get along. If the idea of inflammation scares you, stop worrying. Inflammation is your body's defense mechanism. It's a warning signal from your body to you. It gives you a chance to correct things before the situation gets out of hand. Has tracking your glucose levels helped with your inflammation? What do you wish you did differently when it comes to metabolic inflammation?